Well, welcome to the sixth annual outreach event organized by the Department of Neurobiology and Physiology at the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. This actually is the first of our six that has been on the subject matter of our department on neuroscience. So it's about, some people said it's about time. These events are presented as an effort to bring to the public some important facts about research in the life sciences and how this research affects society by raising ethical, legal, and public policy questions. So we've asked the speakers tonight to present their talks in plain English to make them comprehensible to the lay public. Just a word of introduction, everything that you are thinking and feeling at this moment, the sound of my voice, your understanding of what I'm saying, your sense of personal identity, your consciousness, all of these are thought to grow out of the infinitely complex electrical and physical connections among the 100 billion or so neurons in the central nervous system. Now, if our thoughts and feelings and memories are physical phenomena, that is the chemical and physical connections among the nerve cells, if they are physical, doesn't that mean that our decisions and actions are in fact determined by the laws of physics and chemistry as applied to the brain, and therefore, if they are following the laws of physics and chemistry, they can be measured by the methods used by physicists and chemists. We already know that we can use chemicals, otherwise known as drugs, to modify behavior. Sometimes the modification is constructive, sometimes not. But if behavior can be reduced to the connections of nerve cells in the brain, is science telling us that free will is an illusion? That our behavior, good or bad, depends on the number and variety of connections among nerve cells, we shall hear this evening how some brain phenomena are examined by imaging devices and what kinds of ethical questions arise from the data generated by these devices. I'd like to thank, firstly, my co-organizer, my co Mike Kennedy, and the department office staff, Liv Erica Clausen, Beth Herbert, and Joe Atkinson for help in putting this event together. Also, our student volunteers deserve our thanks, and the folks who are working the videotape for this conference. And finally, our sponsors who are listed on the front page of the program. I'll introduce the two speakers, not by giving a long biography. The biography is printed on the back of your program, so you can take a look at that at your leisure. The first speaker is Marcel Messelum, who is a professor of neurology at the Feinberg College of Medicine, Northwestern University, and his title is The Brave New World of Brain Imaging. Marcel. 